hello my loves welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is shahida and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back my loves how y'all doing i hope y'all day is going good because mine is going all right i just got out of work it's um let me see what time it is it is 304 and i just clocked out at three o'clock y'all it has been oh my goodness it's been a week today is um friday but y'all probably won't see this video i don't know when y'all gonna see this video to be honest but before we get into the video make sure y'all like this video up subscribe to my channel if you're new here trust me you're gonna love it and um comment down below some something positive you want me to know something inspiring you know i need it all i need it all and say hello to the twins say hi guys hello hello so i got some news for y'all it's not the best news that i want to hear but it's some news okay all right so first off i had to sit y'all up a little bit because i didn't feel like holding my uh holding my thing Y'all, I'm getting so big. I am huge. These twins, they got my legs. My feet is swollen. My legs, my ankles is swollen. I'm almost swollen up to my knees, y'all. It is bad. Like, I'm actually feeling it almost past my knees, almost up to my thighs, y'all. It's it's not good, like, <laughs> and I'm about to make situations worse because I'm about to put on some clothes and go take a walk. Now, let me tell you why I'm about to go take a walk. I'm going to take a walk because the twins decided at the last minute that they want to go back into breach position and they sitting on their booties. And if I want to have a natural vaginal delivery, they got to turn upside down. So I'm about to start doing all that I can to get them into position because I want to have a natural birth, y'all. I do not want to get cut open. That's the last thing I'm, I want to do. And my mom keeps on saying, it's okay. I've had five C-sections, okay? That was you. My first baby was vaginal and these twins I want them to be vaginal because it's common for people with twins to have a c-section I'm not a common bitch I want to push them both out okay you heard me I want to push them out out of my own coochie I don't want to get cut open I don't want I don't want it I don't want it okay so I've been doing a lot of research and obviously you know that walking a lot gets the baby down into position so i'm about to put on a hoodie i was gonna put on some shoes but the way my feet and my ankles look i can't fit my shoes so i'm just gonna go walk in my fluffy slippers and hope that um i don't trip and fall in my slippers <laughs> I'm not that clumsy, but yeah, I can't fit my shoes. My shoes cannot fit on my feet anymore. I'm about to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. Let me put on a hoodie first or something because it's not even, it's not cold outside, y'all. Surprisingly, it is warm outside and that is amazing. Um, So far, y'all, today I only had a bowl of cereal, some chocolate milk, some tea, and about four bottles of water. I drink so much water, y'all. And I'm thinking drinking a lot of water going to help with the swelling. I don't know if I need more water or do I need less water. Because <laughs> in the hours, in the, I mean, all day that I've been working from 6.30 this morning, to three now i've had about four bottles of water 
I don't know if that's good enough or not because I'm about to start drinking some more. I don't know. I need y'all to let me know some other tips to help get these kids down because yeah. So y'all, look at my legs. Y'all probably can't really tell. Look at that shit. Oh my god. Look at my ankles, bro. Let me take my socks off. Oh. Look at my foot, y'all. My feet are so fucking fat. Hold on. Bro, I look like a fucking cabbage patch, baby. With these big old feet. My toes still looking good. But my feet, y'all, look at my ankles, bro. Like... I real life got some fat motherfucking feet. Oh my god. I'm about to put my socks back on, but y'all, it's been it's been five years since I felt like this. And everybody was like, oh my god, you look like you're ready to pop. You look like you're ready. You look like you're tired holding all that weight and it's like i'm not even so much as tired per se because i want to go full term but i'm more so like um i don't know like right now i'm i'm not tired like I, they can't stay in a little bit longer like y'all good y'all chilling i'm chilling but i was not expecting me to be getting this swole this early in the game like this now they're trying to take me out they're trying to take me out the game but nah i'm putting on these slippers <laughs> and that's how we walk in the day um yeah these twins got me messed up they playing with my emotions because the whole time baby a was head down he was head down when i went to my appointment at the beginning of the week the beginning of the week everything was good i went to my appointment on thursday and they both was sitting on their boy i'm like Don't stress me out, okay? I've been doing good. So now, I gotta do this extra walking and shit to try to get their asses back into position. And guess what? Mama gonna do it. When I go back to my appointment in a few days, their asses better be head down. And if they're not head down, me and the twins gonna have a motherfucking problem. But, I'm thinking... Oh, my mama's got mama got some beans cooking she got some beans cooking I'm about to um, take out took out the other day she be thinking because i'll be eating late that i'm not gonna cook what i took out i took it out the freezer so i can eat it come on now and i don't want this piece because it's all bent up so i want this one but i'm taking that out so it can thaw out and it be thawed out by the time i come back my wife I'm gonna make me a, a smoothie. I got some um, mixed fruit that I'm probably gonna do and probably make some spinach. Um, but that's gonna be when I come back inside. Let me put this water in the refrigerator. So it can be throwing out. I feel like I ain't been outside in days, <laughs> but I came outside yesterday. I didn't come outside this morning. 
I have not checked the mailbox. Y'all, it's almost time for planting season. Your girl is gonna get her garden back and I'm excited for that. I don't know what I'm gonna plant this year. Last year I did tomatoes and watermelon. This year I definitely wanna do watermelon again. And things that I actually eat. Um, yeah, some things that I actually eat. So probably watermelon is what I'm gonna do. And some bell peppers. Nothing in the mailbox. Yeah, watermelon, bell peppers, probably what I'm gonna do. And, um, I don't know. I have not sat down and thought about what to do. It might be a little windy out here, y'all. The clouds, the sky is dark, and it's a little windy, but I hope y'all can still hear me y'all decided to get this walk on out the way as soon as i got off work because if i would have sat in that bed and put my feet up right after work then i probably wasn't gonna get up and walk so i'm gonna take this little 15 minute walk or whatever and enjoy nature enjoy my little time of being off work for today it's been a pretty nice week um very warm nice weather even though it looks like it's about to rain but i have nowhere to go today so if it rains that has nothing to do with me tired already and i only been walking for two minutes <laughs> let me i'm about to set my timer to see how long it takes me to walk because normally it takes me about i think like 15 minutes to walk around my block but with me being pregnant probably walking slower i'm probably gonna take longer than that so i'm about to set my timer minus two minutes so i gotta remember well almost three minutes now so i gotta remember Add three minutes to my timer when I walk back, when I get back to the house. Y'all, nature is real life. Beautiful. To see the trees go from bare to having leaves on them when the seasons change, it's just really a beautiful thing. Just embracing the calmness of nature, listening to the different birds, the different animals, and their different sounds. It's just awesome. Like, just take in. Y'all go for a walk one day and just be at one with the earth. You see how peaceful it actually really is. I forgot what time it was. I think it was 3.20 when I uh, set my timer so I can see how long it take me to walk and it's four almost 4 15 now and i'm just now really getting back in the house but i did in my defense get caught up um talking to my neighbors and they were talking to me for a long time so that's where some of my time went um but y'all my feet are, and legs are getting more swollen by the minute so I'm about to get my smoothie going so I can go sit in my bed and relax because girl, I'm not about to do nothing else for the rest of the day but edit videos, vlog, edit videos, do some thumbnails, record videos, record some shorts, get some reels together. I got a lot on my agenda that I'm trying to get done before I go in to have these babies because the time is near. Got my ingredients over here. So, we're going to use 
a mixed fruit. It's got pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mango in it. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of chopped spinach in there, ice cubes, and some milk. Hopefully it came out pretty good. I never was really one to that was that was like, oh, I'm gonna put some spinach in my fruit um smoothie. I was never really one that liked greens in my stuff, but since y'all know I'm still trying to get my iron and stuff up, I gotta do what I gotta do, right? So here's what I'm doing. It shouldn't be too bad. I'm not putting that much in there, but just a little bit. a couple of ice cubes even though everything in there is frozen already shouldn't need ice cubes too much I did put a lot of milk in there my mama I don't know what happened to the top that's supposed to go on here so I'm just gonna use this let's see how this let's go really good actually I taste all the flavors and the spinach is not overpowering that was actually good I'll take it to my room and enjoy it 
drink my smoothie it was so good y'all i'm about to get up and fix me some food food to eat my mama made navy beans and so i'm probably about to eat some navy beans and rice and put that fish on i just gotta put the fish on because the other food is already done but i've been craving that fish for a few days so i got to have me some fish okay i don't even know where i want to start okay um so I don't know if I told y'all in a previous vlog, but maybe about a month ago, I went to my ultrasound appointment and baby A was smaller than the average baby, as doctors would say. But, you know, y'all know my standpoint on doctors and things like that yeah you know y'all knowledgeable and everything like that but look at me i'm five foot zero before i was pregnant with twins i was only about 105 pounds so i'm small my damn self so i wouldn't expect my babies to be big so anyway so baby a is was on the smaller side when I went to that appointment, he was like three pounds, 11 ounces, and his brother was four pounds. So, um, maybe a few weeks later, they started talking about inducing me because he was on the smaller side. Um, and that was like the last thing that I wanted to do because I knew they was going to try to induce me way before time and i really wanted to you know get as close to my 40 weeks to full term as possible but you know i i only know what i know from doing research and stuff like that so i'm gonna listen to them because i want my babies to come out healthy I want them to come out good and i know that getting them out earlier um they have a higher risk of being stillborn if the, the closer that it gets to a full term. So even with them being small, if they come out early, they'll gain weight faster than they would probably inside of me. And then I was just trying to think about like, how is that possible though? Like the whole pregnancy, they were like the same weight. They, in their own sacks, they have their own placenta so they have their own food supply so why are y'all not still on track i don't know because everything is good my placenta is good blood's flowing good through everything so it's just i think it's natural but we're gonna do what the doctors say um and then they also told me that i have group beta strep gbs um it's basically like a, a bacterial infection that most women have some women have and so when i go to get induced on this day i have to go in a few hours earlier so that they can give me uh the um what you call it but the antibiotics or whatever um if i'm gonna have them vaginally i had to take the antibiotics but i think like four to six hours before i pushed them out so that they wouldn't catch that little disease um it's not a disease that can be spread to other people but pushing them out vaginally it can be spread to them and it could be very very harmful for them so I do have to do that. Um, take those antibiotics, but they get they pump the antibiotics in you, like you know when they're uh, about to induce you and stuff like that. So it's not something that I can just take right now and be like, okay, I'm taking my antibiotics, so you know I won't transfer nothing to the babies because even if they were to prescribe me with antibiotics to take and it be gone, it can easily come back. Is what she was telling me. So 
that's what's going to happen with that. I'm just really bummed that I am getting induced earlier than normal or that I'm just getting induced period because I really wanted it to come naturally on its own. I was induced with my first baby. Um, I was only induced because I had preeclampsia, but that's not the case this time. This time, it's just that the babies are a little smaller. Um, and then when I went back to my appointment a couple days ago, um, baby A had gained like 11 ounces. He's now four pounds, seven ounces. And his brother is four pounds, 11 ounces. So they're back to the same thing. But baby B is now gaining his weight slower. So... We just got to take them out and let them finish getting their nutrients outside of the womb. It's okay. Um, I think I, I did tell y'all earlier that they are both breached. So I'm trying to walk them down. That's That was what I was telling y'all earlier. If I don't walk them, if, if I'm not able to get them down by the time um, my next appointment comes, my next ultrasound appointment, then they're going to schedule a C-section which I don't want to do that either. I don't want to get cut open. So it's a lot that's going on, but I'm staying strong, keeping the faith, all that good stuff, and just praying for safe delivery. The main thing that's in my in the back of my head is like, you know, having a NICU baby, like two NICU babies going through, you know, stuff like that. But she did um the giving me a shot for what is it called beta methasone and it's to develop their lungs faster so hopefully by the time that they come or i am induced their lungs should be fully functioning so they won't really have to be on a ventilator if they have to be on a ventilator they won't be on there too long but I think that they're pretty healthy. I'm healthy. They're they're definitely healthy. They're going to come out strong like their mom. And that's all that matters. I just want to get my babies out healthy. That's it. That's all. That is all I want to do. So that's what I wanted to talk to y'all about. To let y'all know that I am getting induced. Hopefully I don't have to have a C-section. But I will be getting induced very, 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 very very soon y'all stay tuned for the labor and delivery vlog sooner than later um yeah i'm gonna have to go put on some fish because your girl is hungry and i'm ready to lay down at this point i didn't edit it a video i'm transferring it to my laptop I got a lot of videos to edit. Yeah. I'm about to go get me something to eat. Alright, so I'm about to get my fish ready. I think I got some fish fry. Why my ass 
guys didn't cut this fish in half before I did this. I don't know. I'm trying to be fast and hurry up. I'm about to cut it now. Though. Got my oil, y'all. Oil, not cream mango juice. <laughs> Put y'all in a position where y'all can see me for real. Okay. Not too much. side first let it soak in and then put it on the back because that's how it's gonna cook like that put a little bit more because some of it's disappeared Alrighty. and here it is my fish you know, my two pieces of fish, I put hot sauce on one and left the other one plain because I'm like that. Like, you know, I just wanted hot sauce on one and enjoy one without hot sauce. And I got my beans and rice. And this is my meal for tonight. For now, I'm probably going to eat some cereal because I eat cereal all day. But here's my food, guys. Well, y'all, I'm about to eat my delicious food that i have prepared before me and i will talk to you guys in the next video peace out